are sex differences in the causes, prevalence rates, progression and outcomes of persons with CKD or chronic kidney disease that could be explained by biological differences between men and women but also by differences in the quality of care provided to them. Importantly, guidelines have well-defined recommendations on how to screen, diagnose, monitor and care for individuals at risk of CKD or with established CKD and these recommendations are not sex-based. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about new research published in JASN which reveals sex differences in the recognition, monitoring and treatment of chronic kidney disease. A team led by Juan Jesus Carrero studied a variety of CKD care indicators among 227,847 people with a first ever detected low level of kidney function, denoting probable CKD in Stockholm's health system from 2009 to 2017. The investigators found that compared with men with similar characteristics, women were less likely to receive a diagnostic code related to CKD, be referred to a nephrologist and have their kidney function monitored. Additionally, women were less likely to receive guideline-recommended medications. This study identifies healthcare gaps that may explain previously reported sex differences in the prevalence, progression rates, and outcomes of persons with chronic kidney disease, said Dr. Carrero. Analysis of time trends during the last decade showed that many indicators are improving over time. For example, there has been an increase in the rate of certain tests of kidney function over the years, but the rate of testing among women with CKD has been persistently lower than that of men. We are unable to identify the reasons for this potential under-management and speculate on possible causes such as challenges in interpreting serum creatinine, a marker of kidney function and a waste product of the normal wear and tear on muscles of the body in women who on average are smaller and have lower muscle mass than men, one of the researchers noted. It's also possible that subconscious biases operate among healthcare professionals believing that CKD is less problematic in women or that women themselves are more likely to deny the disease. In any case, our study brings attention to healthcare gaps amendable to correction, the authors noted. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.